I am working from home and I'm pretty set up to do things at home for a bunch of projects and why do I have this lab and why do I do these things at home well I get asked to do crazy things for people somebody asked me to repair these compressors I think some of these are for sale I have a console of a friend Tim Lee and his faders ready to go Tim uh, but I want to put them into my test console and plug it in before I ship it out but uh, while I have all this time to um, not commute and be with the family and keep Eddie busy in the um, in the daytime with the stay at home uh, I'm working on just cleaning stuff up so I uh, got my loads hooked up my audio precision haven't hooked up yet there is a uh, power supply that's all hooked up tested ready to go um, but I want to move some of these tools my 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 chair I always get my head knocked on this stuff so I want to move some of it out here and what I built out here was I built these shelves I think I am gonna move this over and this over but in the meantime I have some um, space here that I'm gonna put some little shelves for um, R8 stuff so I have a whole bunch of chucks and fly cutters and a shell mill to put there so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna move all my tooling over here I think so I built these I went to the Home Depot and I said give me 32 by 1 foot so he cut a piece of plywood so I got three of these one two three or it was actually one two three that many shelves out of two pieces of plywood and uh, there's just a simple upright at the back there's no it's like a still an open back but it's just this one piece of 32 by 2 and it keeps it all square and stackable anyway I, I um, still refining this design but I built one two three four five six seven I built seven of them out of four sheets of plywood so I was very happy with that here I built and painted with Eddie this is a um, box that faces the outside so when the garage is open it um, is exposed to the other side so Eddie's bike is in there and there's a car seat in there and there's a door on the front of it so it closes for dust um, and then I've moved some of these boxes this box that I have router stuff and move that over there um, I have underneath I have this stuff that I want to use as um, it's like a it's a curtain and I want to use it to um, block off um, dust from this stuff like just a flap that folds down I did that before so here I have uh, my it's a Gorton this is a 265-6 cutter grinder so I have um, well, this is an end mill I screwed up um, but I have uh, D bits for my Gorton engraver so this sharpens the bits that I use to engrave this is a um, there was there's several types of lathes and one of them is called a watchmaker's lathe uh, this is one size up in a watchmaker's lathe this is they call these a tool room lathe and um, what it does is uh, it uses collets again and these collets I have multiples I've got like a oh my god I gotta, I gotta move this drawer so I have these collets that you put stock into of various sizes and 
get cut off the metal using this is a cross slide so I have to fix this cross slide and then this is a um, uh, it's called a turret so you put one two three four five six tools on the turret and you just go process one process two three four five six so if you need to do six different operations on this piece of metal uh, it uh, it does it in uh, just a simple handle movement um, the engraver I've moved it into the corner here so this this machine got so big and it uh, so I started to take it apart and fix it and uh, so I cleaned it up I buffed it I got rid of as much schmoo as I could I've got to do another degreaser on it I think a day of degreasing um, but when I move the table all the way over here this machine is fully accessible so I have you know the vertical and the XY there and uh, I have more table space so I opened this up for the table space and here to adjust it it's that it's it needs to the panto graph has to change based on this scale so I needed this breathing room behind it so the machine could actually trace a piece of that scale <sighs> What a pain. I moved that machine like 50 times. All of its fonts. So I have a whole bunch of different fonts. So these go into the little trays. Oh man, something's stuck there. So there's these little fonts. And they go into the tray up top. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta take that apart. Boo! So they go up here and you reduce that. And it engraves it down there. Or I can just use this as a mill until I get this thing working. I have this console. I'm getting rid of it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, 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 it hurts me to get rid of. Uh, but it's wired with EDAX on the back. And those EDAX plug in here, here, and here to, um, to test it. So I have, I have all of that stuff ready to go. I've taken off the workbench over here. Over here, I used to have a workbench on top. My thought is, my table saw, I don't use it for really big cuts. I only use it for tiny cuts. I rip a lot with it. So I want to leave it in this corner and... Uh, just rip all the little things with, or sorry, uh, just cut all the little things here. And then when I need to rip, I just turn it, face it out the door and just blast it out into my driveway. Uh, I have these little workmate benches. I love using those things. They are spectacular and they just fold up and go inside the table saw spot there. I do want to get a new dust collection system and put it up there. Uh, I have these crazy bright LED lights. Wow. But I do want to put another one up there. 